The religious community of the Jesuits has many well-known members, such as St. Ignatius of Loyola, St. Francis Borgia, and St. Francis Xavier. But few people know the importance of Diego Lainez, the first successor of St. Ignatius as the head of the Society of Jesus. Diego Lainez was a very intellectual person. He was reflective, more focused on the theological problems of the time. Only at the end of his life came in the role of government, which were especially a part of the lives of St. Ignatius and St. Francis Borgia. St. Ignatius of Loyola noticed Diego Lainez's knowledge of theology, and so he sent him to take part in the Council of Trent. There he became one of the leading and most influential Council Fathers. His performance at the Council of Trent was especially significant and well received. There are records of the Council where they talk about the very positive reception that led to his doctrine, especially on complex issues such as the subject of justification and matters of theological doctrine regarding the sacraments or other issues of the life and practice in the Church, issues like where bishops should live and so on. Today, the Jesuits are spread throughout the world, carrying out the job of evangelization that began precisely with St. Ignatius of Loyola. They've even seen a spike in numbers, mostly in Asia and Africa, where many people are joining the Society of Jesus. We are now 18,000 Jesuits. We're in a process of decline in Europe and America, but in a process of large growth in Asia and Africa. We have always had, from St. Ignatius, this desire for universality. Since April 21st, they've been celebrating the 500th anniversary of the birth of Diego Lainez. Throughout 2012, there will be three cycles of lectures, including an exhibit to honor and remember the Jesuit who played an important role in the history of the church.